This is the example on slide 81 of our chapter 19 PowerPoint. And it states, consider the reaction at 298 Kelvin. Um, 2NO plus O2 gives you 2NO2. And then it proceeds to give you a standard um, Gibbs free energy of reaction. And it wants us to calculate the um, Gibbs free energy of reaction under non-standard conditions and it gives us partial pressures of each reactant and product and then it asks is the reaction more or less spontaneous under these conditions than standard conditions so up until this point we have been calculating um, delta G reaction and there's been a little looks kind of like a zero it's called not um, that not symbol. Basically that means that we've been calculating our Gibbs free energy of reaction under standard conditions, meaning um, 25 degrees Celsius, um, one atmosphere, one molar, so on and so forth. So what they're asking us to do is figure out under new conditions where our partial pressures are not one atmosphere, how that delta G would change. And so um, on some previous slides, it talks about um, a new reaction we're going to learn. I'm gonna highlight it here. Basically, our change in free energy of our reaction under non-standard conditions is equal to the change in free energy of our reaction under standard conditions, which is signified by this symbol, this not symbol, that means under standard conditions, plus RT ln Q. So R is our gas constant, um, and it needs to be in um, units of joules over mole Kelvin. So our R in this case is going to be 8.314 joules over moles times Kelvin. Our temperature is going to need to be in Kelvin, and then Q which is basically our constant of our reaction um, when it's not at equilibrium. So that means we're going to need to write an equilibrium expression for this, um, figure out what Q is in order to plug it into this equation. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm given my reaction and under non-standard, non-equilibrium conditions, my Q is equal to, and we're in gases and partial pressures, partial pressure of NO2, and that's going to be squared because I have a 2 up top here, over partial pressure of NO, also squared, because I have a 2, times partial pressure of oxygen. And that is not squared or anything because I don't have any coefficients out in front. So that's our equilibrium expression, products times their coefficient, or raised to the power of their coefficients over reactants. Now, I could plug in all the numbers that I was given. So it's going to be 2 atmospheres squared over 0.1 squared times 0.1. And if I plug all of those in, I get that my Q is equal to 4,000. Remember, just like equilibrium, um, Q does not have a unit. <coughs> so now, I'm almost ready to plug into my equation. One other thing I need is temperature. And it states in the problem that the reaction is happening at 298 Kelvin. So the free energy change of my reaction under non-standard conditions is going to be equal to the change in free energy under standard conditions signified by delta G naught reaction, that little 
O means not, means standard conditions. And that is stated in the problem. So I'm going to highlight it up here. So it's going to be equal to negative 72 or 71.2. And we're actually going to change this to um, joules because my gas constant is in units of joules. So it's going to be negative 71,200 joules plus, um, and I might need to spread out. Okay, sorry about that. I moved to another slide. So here's where we were. I just erased a little to spread out the calculation. All right, so <coughs> our delta G naught of reaction is 71,200 joules. We just changed kilojoules to joules so our units can cancel. Plus our gas constant, 1.3, sorry, 8.314 joules over moles times Kelvin, times our temperature, 298K, and then ln of Q, which is 4,000, calculated on the previous slide. <coughs> so if we do 8.314 times 298K, multiply that by the natural log of 4,000, you're going to get 20,500 joules, because our Kelvins are going to cancel, um, and it's kind of understood that we're in units of moles. And we're going to add that together with the 71,200 joules. And that's going to give us, oh, and that is, I apologize, I believe that is a negative value. I did not write that on this. So if you're paying attention, sorry about that. So it's negative 71,200 joules plus 20,500 joules should give you negative 50,700 joules, or if you want to convert it to kilojoules, negative 50.7 kilojoules. So then technically we're not quite done because the question also asks us, is the reaction more or less spontaneous under these conditions than standard conditions? So if we look up at our delta G naught, our standard conditions, it's negative 71.2, and under non-standard conditions, it's negative 50.7. So therefore, it's less spontaneous because it's more positive. Remember, the more positive a delta G is, the less spontaneous it is. Spontaneous it is. The more negative, the more spontaneous. So under non-standard conditions, delta G of our reaction is less spontaneous. Under standard conditions. And there you have it.